Okay, so you've got a product. Let's say you've already gone through the development of your logo, brand, and packaging design, and now you're ready to put this product out there on the market. I'll show you how to lay out a tried and true website landing page using what we call a hero slider. I'll be designing this in Adobe XD. This will be a desktop layout, so I'd also need to design a mobile layout, but I'm just going to cover the desktop version now. For this project, I'll be using a product from a client of mine, Maverick Spice. I've already completed the logo, initial branding, and packaging. We've already made a website too, but for the purposes of this video, I'll be making another version. I'm going to bring in my own guides here. This will give us a reference to the edge. I've prepared all of my design elements and images in Photoshop, so now I can just start pulling them into XD as needed. Here's a logo. And for the website, we're going to have to have the navigation menu. You always want to use a font or type that's cohesive with the brand. Here's the social media icons I've made. and now is a package of the spice that I've mocked up. Mocks are a way to show your product cleanly and are very common these days as opposed to taking a photo of your product and using that. Although if done well, a photo can still look great. We have a big bold image, so we also have to come up with some big bold type. Now we want our type to be pleasing and eye-catching to the website visitor, something to draw them in. Here I'm looking for the right color to choose. I'm going to go with a nice yellow. Dip into chipotle. Chipotle is delicious. Just kidding, I know it's Chipotle. <laughs> we want to pull this text down from the nav and come up with a subheading here. A bold flavor for a classic chip. Coming up with these Verbiage isn't very easy sometimes. Here I'm going to make a shop now button. I made this design element because it's a little bit southwest feel and that goes along with the branding I had for Maverick. We need something else here at the bottom. So I'm going to write some more text, all natural, gluten free. Something people like to see. Add some design uh, bullets here.
What are those birds? Where did I get this elevator music? Get the spacing all fixed up. Uh, here's a down arrow, just so the viewer knows there's more info below. This is what's called above the fold, where newspapers used to be folded in half, and a passerby would just see what's on top, which is also called above the fold, and that's where the term came from. So on your screen, when you're seeing this, that's what it means. Yeah, I think this is looking good. I'm gonna group this and name it. Help keep us organized. Then we want to duplicate it. This way there's another layer designed just like this where I can start bringing in the second product. And for the second slider, I want the background to be red. And here's the new mock. I'm also going to change this little design element here. the text down here I want to be the red as well and we have to come up with something new giddy up it is Texas caramba chili with a Texas size taste let's go ahead and make the third slider replace this design element I want this background to be black, just because well with the label. It's all black as well. And we'll need text here as well. Rub it on, gauge in black. Resize this a bit. Fix the lighting. Uh, fish from the bayou, how's that? spacing yeah I think that's looking good too rename this all right now we have all three of the sliders I'm going to duplicate this page and auto animate here Now what this will do, as I fast forward through this here, is it can give the viewer a good vision of what their website would look like. So this isn't coded yet, it's just to give an idea. You design it, and you can go over it with your client, or with uh, your coworkers, and just make decisions. And then that way, when you're ready to go to coding, it's already done, and you know exactly what you want it to look like. And I'm just fixing some of the spacing and the animation here look pretty daunting but there's a lot of good tutorials out there on how to use Adobe XD and here they are and I think we're ready to see what it would look like 
at all three slider images and just go up here and press play and there it is click through boom second slider third slider back to beginning how's that look pretty nice right Uh, we could put arrows here for the web visitor and that's the basic premise so if you have a product but you're not entirely sure how you want it displayed online hopefully this gave you a good idea and you can always hire a good designer to help you out thanks for watching